Right. Okay. Are we there? So um, we've done the sky with, I just used a little bit of royal blue. I'm going to get, going to do uh, that, that house, that house, that house, and that house now. I'm going to use the small brush, dry it a bit, and just paint in with water. The, the house front there. And you can use any colours you like. And I'm going to use the rigger not too, not too wet. Uh, I'm going to paint this one in red because it, or it's not red as such. It's um, oh, this is red oxide. And that's it. And the water makes it, 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 it's not all one blanket colour. So that will be lighter in bits and that, that, and I put the wax there. So that's why we use water first and now I'm going to do this one water you can do this in Stockholm or not Stockholm in Sweden and Scandinavian countries they just have red and white houses in the harbour you could quite easily do that so I'm going to have another red house here So uh, I painted it with water first. I had a little bit of pigment on the brush and then just pushed it about. And I'm going to go over to this one. So water on the brush. I'm not doing any roofs yet. Paint around that house there. I'm going to have a bit of green in this one. So, and I've got, got it bleeding in a little bit of tissue and soak it up. Um, 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 um. I'm going to do this one up here because the sky is dry. If your sky is dry, go for it. If not, don't. I'm going to use a little bit of cere cerulean blue for that one there. Just put your pigment in, let it move around, push it about a bit. That house that, this house here, that side of the wall, I've left white on my previous one. It's where the sun's coming from, I see. This is, these are different colours to what I did originally. Uh, this one, water. Make sure your sky is dry, otherwise you'll get whatever colour. into the sky. Um, what colour should we use? Have a bit of raw sienna, I think. Entirely up to you, the colours that you use. The Scandinavian ones are sometimes white on the top, then halfway down it, it changes to uh, stonework or completely red.
go. Um, I'm going to go for this one here. This the small one down the, on the harbour wall. And um, hmm. we'll have a bit more. Let me have some turquoise. I've left this doorway not coloured in. That's that's sort of a half door because the harbour wall covers up the rest of it. And I get tissue and just smudge it away into the distance. Um, 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 um. This this one here of mine is dry, so I'm going to do this one at the back. So paint it in water. And um, I've got a different blue. Just drop a bit of colour in and then pull it about with a, a clean, just a clean brush. No more paint. Uh, and off we go. So, clean water. I'm going to do this house here. And as you can see, my green of this house has bled into that one. So I shall re repaint it. I'm just doing the front of this house and not the side. I'm leaving that white. And as to colour, oh my, what colour? What did I do? Mm. Right. Well, I don't want pink. I'm going to have... This is, I'm going to use Aussie Red Gold. So that's, that's that one. I've got one over here. So clean water, paint with water first. Make sure that that house it's next to is dry. We don't want that. And colour. Oh, no, red oxide again. Then we've got three of the same colour across the front there, which is balances it up. Right. Ah, and there's a little one. This little one here. Um, oh, I have the Aussie red gold again. That's it. There's a, a place in Scotland called Tobermory, which has a beautifully beautiful uh, houses. But they're in a row, so this isn't Tobermory, but uh, find a photograph. You can always paint a pic, uh, do one based on that. I've got blue in there, so I get a little bit more of the red oxide. Is that on mould, Susan? I'm going to use the roofs, so this one I know should be dry. So keeping in those lines, painting with water first. And I'm going to use the red oxide, start at the top and let it, and then just wash my brush and pull it down. So it's 
patchy and mottled. And then I'm just going to give it that bit there extra dark just to give it shadow and um, texture. This one is dry, so it's going to be the same colour. So pigment on the brush, dab it in, pull it about. Right. I'm going to paint um, this one, I think. The lovely green one. So, the water first. Pigment on brush, dab it across the top. Wash brush, dry it off a bit and pull it down. And then if you want, you can just put an extra bit of pigment on one side. When it dries, it, it gives it a, a, a great a graduated um, look. Uh, this one. Okay, be careful when you get to this bit here. Water, pigment, clean brush, dry it on the tissue, and pull it about a bit. You can see I've got in a corner each time just to I hope this is dry here yeah, I think it is this blue one so water pigment clean the brush dry it off Pull it down. I've got a bit of wax on this roof here. Ah, I know what I've done. I've done a red roof for the, the red house. Never mind. Right, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to get a bit of indigo. Not a lot because I haven't got much there. And just dab that in that one. That one should have been indigo, but it's not. I'll do this last roof up here, so paint with water. Some pigment. Dab it in along the top of that roof line, down the corner. Pull it down. Jobs are good. I'll do this roof here, this blue one. Clean water. Pigment, clean the brush, pull it about. And there's just that one there. Water, pigment. Clean brush, dry it a bit, pull it about. This one here, I just want to give a little bit of colour. You can't see it because it's sideways on, but I'm just running a little bit of indigo over that top there, just to give it so that you can see what colour roof it, it is. Uh, 
And so I've used the same color of the roofs as for the chimneys. And now I'm going to do the wall. So again, I'm painting in just water, going around the boats. But over the steps, because they'll be fine. We want them that kind of around the boat. And I choose a colour for the wall. Probably going raw sienna with a few bits of red just dropped in. So don't have too much on your water on your brush when you pick up the pigment for this because it's got water on the paper already. So drop your pigment in and then put it around very much like the, the houses. Now I'm just going to go and get a little bit of my red and just dot it in and it will diffuse, diffuse away and look mottled. I've got a fairly full brush of water. Uh, I'm going to just paint up to that sea wall and then bring it down about the same distance as those houses are high. You can go over the, the these two little boats moored out in the in the harbour. So I've got a, a fairly good sheen on that. So we've got a little bit of time to work. Now you can use the rigger or you can use a small brush. And I'm going to start from left to right. So I've got this house here and I'm going to pick it up slightly. This house here, so I'm going to drop in some of that house colour and this one here and this one here. Then I'm going to clean my brush, put a little bit of water underneath or on top of where I put those to help it run. Then I've got some green, which goes here. You can help it down a bit if it seems a bit reticent. Some water to help it run. Oh my God. Well, this was Aussie red gold, wasn't it? There, we don't want that to go too far. Because it goes then into the, uh, oh, it's more. So that, we're doing that house there. So coming down. More yellow there. And I've got some blue there. And I've got a bit of blue above there. So clean, dry brush and mop up that water at the bottom. Oh, I've missed out that bit extra blue at the top there. So, so I'm just dumping some blue in and helping it down. So it's, it's quite a pretty, pretty pattern. 
and it's just the colours reflected. That's, that's all it is. And I've just dropped in a bit of pigment and um, letting it flow down a bit. But also letting it dry just a bit. I'm now mopping up the excess water at the bottom. And I've got my clean piece of tissue ready. Very lightly, very lightly, get it into a, a little bit of a point and just pull, pull it down. Now, because we're going to change colour, get a bit of tissue that is got no colour on it and just pull the next bit down. Lightly, very lightly. So changing tissue again. Pull that one down and then changing again, pull that down into the blue and the blue down further. And again, with this yellow, this yellow shouldn't, oh yeah, can, yeah. Yellow down. Mine is drying now. So green, green bit, and the red. You can, when it's drying, you can pull it a little bit harder. In fact, you have to. Now, in now with my ridder, it's dry. And I'm just pulling it along. Pulling it along that line. Underneath the sea wall. You can go through the boats. It won't hurt. Clean water, dried, pulled. Clean water. So it's drying very quick today. Then we pull a few lines through. Because it's drying quick, you probably have to agitate it a little bit. Then pull through. So just running my paintbrush, my rigger, a few times over it, drying it, pulling it through. I'm going to do that here. So backwards and forwards quite a few times. It's because we were doing drying it, pulling it through. It's it's all a bit dry. Backwards and forwards. Now, if it's got too dry, the alternative is to make that line and then just with the tissue in the clean bit, just go like that, and it it will give you the the line of the sea. So I'm going to do one here. I think mine is all too dry just to lift. It's got to be. Helped out with the tissue. Then backwards and forwards, put your brush down, bit, clean tissue bit, and pull. And there's one over here. I'm going really giving it some there. And it's quite light, that didn't show up. Anyway, so 
So I'm going to use, start off using, because I use this royal blue for my sky. I'm going to use it, start off with around my boat. And I'm just doing some crosses and I've got too much paint on there. Around each boat. I join it up with a, just a few lines between each one. So that bit there is joined to that bit there. We've got some here. Some here. And I just pulled it away a bit. Now I want a few darker ones in there. So just a few dark lines. And I've got far too much water on there. Particularly by the boat, because that will be darker because of the shadow it casts in the water. Let's join that one up to that one. Then, yeah, I'm going to just do this line here. You know those those lines that you get in the, the, the sea, you can see them and you'd have no idea why they're there. They're just a, a line in a, a fairly calm, flat bit. And I'm just going to do one there. Um, for that, I'm just going to use a mixture of the light and the dark color that I've used for the waves. And with your bravery hat on, you just draw a line with your rigor. And I think that is about, oh, no. With the darker color, just gently do a darker bit up by the sea wall. About the same length as the wall or this. this. No, I didn't mean that at all. Not not as deep as the wall, that's what I meant to say, because that's the shadow that it casts into the water. Don't go over the boats though. Whoops, too much water, quick. Just make sure that, for instance, this boat here, I just lengthened in the shadows a bit. And this one here, because there'd be no white close to that. And then it's getting very close to the time when I have to say, stop fiddling. And I think that probably is now. <laughs> <laughs> 